expression this evening, it's because he's suffering from an enormously painful bad back. A year and a half ago, of all things, he was thrown from a horse and he aggravated this week. He said the only thing that helps him is to stand, but that he doesn't like to do that. Although, Greg, he has been known to have a word and stand with the officials. He has, Leslie. In fact, he had a couple of words with the officials before. And we mentioned to him yesterday, Bill, that uh, if the officials tell him to go sit down, he's going to have to explain himself if he doesn't. <laughs> well, he had a discussion. He had another pop out and a free look at a terrific stroke. Evans on the money. I asked for permission to sit on the edge of the scores table. Trent. Think they got enough help? <laughs> he drew three people with him. Trent with seven points. He and Chad Estes have combined for all 13 of the Bobcats points. They trail by two. Henderson. And Trent with the board. Four going to push it. You generally don't get much with the dribble against this team. They support and pinch. A little walk, I thought. Greenwood lost it out of bounds. Uh, Gary Trent, he turns strong baseline. Usually, the drop to the middle. And now watch this turn. Now look at the three defenders. Expense still able to knock it down. Now number 23, Mike Reese into the game for Ohio. Replaces Chad Estes. Sharon Wilkerson is on the floor for Indiana. He wears number 20. And Mike Reese with a solid performance in the MAC Championship. 14 points and great looking dishes. And they got the down screen on Lindemann. And they do pick solidly. Since we hit town, since the pairings were announced, people have said, if there is to be a big time upset in this region, this is the mm -hmm. game. Both teams mirror themselves in a lot of ways. The ability to pick, and look at this guy use the bounce. Ford for three, got it. Ohio by one. Ohio driving a fourth. He's got that ability to score and run a show. Traveled. Boy, look at Gino Ford. Is he fired up? <laughs> he sure is. He's got some energy. Fourth Hoosier turnover. Good help by Lindemann. Well, he's not even playing balls. We can make this all. Trent would love it. Out of the corner. Mm. Three-pointer, Mike Reese. On fire. 19-15, Bobcats. 18 minutes a game and lately making the most of them. Bailey, that's an offensive foul. Looks a little like us begging for applause there, Ball, at the end of this play. But to step in, he should be. Applauded. He's rewarded with the charge, and Damon Bailey gets a rest, and they're going to apply some ice right away as he charges, and he takes off the back brace, flips it. Reese again. And a good job by Simmons up top to keep it alive. Trent for three. Ooh. Ohio, six for nine and three pointers. They lead it 22-15. Well, last year, the MAC Player of the Year and showing people nationally his ability. Solid player. The league MVP this year, the league mm -hmm. MVP and freshman of the year last year. Ford with the takeaway. Now they're starting to celebrate a little early. They're getting the, just don't get cocky, play, Bobcats. 
Bowl. So far, it hasn't hurt the Hoosiers to leave Jeff Bowles alone. Three-point bomb is good by Todd Leary. Everybody remembers Duke and what he did the tournament, knocking down those threes to get him back in the game. They have open shooters, Indiana style. He's one of the premier ones. Four. And Leary has the loose ball. Bobby's singing the praises of Wilkerson to us. I think Sharon's going to be a phenomenal performer, known for his defense, but the duck in. And good luck by Larry to Henderson. Bold's guilty. In fact, Bob Knight kind of shocked us. He said that he feels Sharon Wilkerson has the capacity to be the best guard ever to come out of Indiana University. Have you talked to Quinn lately? Oh, that, or does Isaiah? That say a lot? 10 55 to play first half. Bobcats in charge. Jeff Bowles on top, the reverse guy, and all year long, Trent has been seven for 28 on this look. Two for two tonight. I think you better come out and play him. How about putting Bowles down on the box and leaving him to roll? They're raining threes tonight. Six of 10 for Ohio, three out of three for Indiana. Ohio, six of 10 from three-point land. They're just two out of seven <laughs> inside there. They lead it by four. Oh, without Trent on the box, it's not a great inside team, although they do lock low and understand how to play in there. Henderson turns in the lane, gets the roll. Allen Henderson, 23, Steve Hart is in the lineup for Indiana. And he can rag a guy. you got to be careful with the ball around him. This is a tough backcourt defensive combo that Indiana has in. Jason Terry, seven foot, two and a half, turns, doesn't get the roll. Henderson has the ball. Solid defensive rebounder. Oh, Wilkerson. Oh, what a drive by Sharon Wilkerson. Bobby's right for a trip. The best on that trip. Another one of those high school All-Americans from McDonald's. We're tied at 22. Bowles out to Estes. Gets a pick. So now that's it's the only three. problem. Bowles isn't played, so Lindemann can't hedge. They should use him for a play like that. 25-22, Ohio. You got to make Lindemann play, uh, pay for playing zone. Lindemann, travel. And Gary Trent comes back. That bowl sets a heck of a pick, doesn't it? Well, we were told that. We said it earlier. He is solid. He's not afraid to put a guy on his keister. But you can see Lindemann doesn't go up and head, show, and deny that opportunity to the deep threat. Chad Estes. 21, Gus Johnson in the lineup for Ohio University. Estes has nine points on three of four shooting from the three. Terry, short hook. Tap up and in, Curtis Simmons. Two easy attempts and unable to convert on that low box. There's the takeaway by Simmons. And lost control going up, and that's a foul on Trent. Lost control is right. I mean, that's an easy deuce. This is one of those yoke this layups. Is, this is Bob Knight getting on Steve Hart on the last trip down court. Mm -hmm. Leslie mentioned he is immobile on that sideline. The three happiest people are the officials. Curtis had that deuce counted, don't you think? Hart Ready. to Bailey. Tapped home by Lindemann. Indiana within three, eight and a half to play, first half. Trent to the baseline. Oh, oh, shot. Oh. oh! Who's talking about Glenn Robinson? We were told yesterday, if you hadn't seen Gary Trent play, you're in for a treat as Henderson hits. Rising to your remarks. Allen's been concentrating. I mean, he is guarding Gary Trent. It hasn't been easy. And he's switching on the exchange. He's got Lindham away from the goal. He's king right now. They ought to clear away from him. Back outside to Johnson. He 
He still can't. He's going to go for the screen down. Esther. And here comes Bailey. Now that's a better match on the switch. Wilkerson, who can take away the vision for Estes. Henderson, baseline, reverses oh. it on Terry. Alan Henderson goes 6-9. He reversed it on 7 two and a half. Jason Terry. Absolutely scintillating. Look at the confidence level. It's his team. It's his pill. Hart Henderson steps behind the line and missed everything. I believe it's our first air ball of the day. As noted by the audience. I think the energy dissipated on this end forced the lack of legs on that jump shot for Allen Henderson. Look at all the people around him in white. Plus Johnson for three. The Bobcats are raining threes, 32-28. And Gus will take them at 42%. Good post up again. He is tough on that low post. Terry with the rebound. Ohio, eight out of 14 in three-point attempts. There's still 6.15 to play here in the first half. Johnson. And Bailey with the rebound. Here comes Wilkerson. Three on two down the lane all by himself. And there's the lack of transition defense that Larry Hunter was concerned about. 32-30. While we have a moment, let's get you out to the Midwest. Final seconds. Georgetown up six. Illinois going for the steal. The Illini will have possession, but they trail by six. Georgetown coming back. Coming back from six down to go up six. 14 seconds left in that game. George Butler has been on fire for the Hoyas with 27. A career high. And Ted Robinson, Greg Kelter with the final seconds there. Let's send it out. Don Reed clears it, and Georgetown with Bill and Dribble. More updates coming up at halftime. Jim, thanks very much. 32-30, Ohio leading Indiana. Five minutes, 26 seconds to play here in the first half. Gary Trent, let's take a look at him and as advertised, huh, Bill? Absolutely. Solid performer. This time putting it on the floor. He's made threes. He's posted up. And that's a pretty good defender, Alan Henderson, on him. And the counter, the loop, and this is just one of those moves that only great talents can deliver. The affectionate kiss over the seven-footer. Hoosiers shooting at a 43% clip, and that might not be so bad, except when you're up against a team that's hitting 60%, as Ohio is so far tonight. And they're quick hitters. It's not the type where Indiana's stringing them out and they're ending up with tough shots. They're big, quick pick, and open jumper, or the low post play to Trent. Ohio has turned the ball over just three times so far tonight. Indiana, nine. I watched their Miami game in their conference final, and you knew how solid this team was. They were ready, too, for Indiana. Been talking about the Bobcats shooting. There you see it. And Alan Henderson keeping the Hoosiers right up there. 5.20 to play first half. Ohio with the ball in a two-point lead. The back screen series. Bold. He's had some easy look. Look at this guy work the glass. Freeze, Out of bounds to Ohio. Well, until Bowles shows he can hit that shot, they're going to let him take it. He might be better staying low and doing the bumping for Gary Trent and then just clean up the glass. Steve Hart into the lineup for Lindemann. Mike, Mike, Indiana. Mike. Clear side for him, he doesn't take it. Five minutes to play, first half. Estes tossed it right past Trent's ear. Ohio with Estes and Ford, Reese, Trent, and Bowl. Now remember, this club beat UConn. 
This is not an easy team to go against. They're very confident. And Larry with another open look. You can't pinch and not recover on these shooters. Indiana, one point lead, 33-32. Ohio won 25 of 32 games this season. It's not just Trent, too. These perimeter guys are solid. Ford with the season-long haircut there. Trent, tough shot. Too long. And there's where he should be. Right there. Jeff Bowles. 34-33. That's Ohio. the first force, wouldn't you say? He's entitled, wouldn't you say? Oh, I, I would think. Take as many as you want. Henderson. No contest for Allen Henderson. Good post pass. 13 for Henderson. Hoosiers by one. And they get yeah, Hart with the shove. Everybody stayed at home that time by Indiana. They'll exchange people that time. I think for size reasons, they did a lot want to leave Ford, kept Larry on it. Well, that's being bowled over, wouldn't you say? He's a picker. Clock has stopped at three minutes, 30 seconds to play here in the first half. And Indiana leads it by 135-34. Now we were asking Bob Knight about this team. This is not your typical Indiana team in that they have not been sharp on the defense. No, it's not as good as he would like it, but part of it I attribute to running the floor. They also are a quicker hitting team. They don't use the clock like a temple does. So therefore, you, the stress is on your defense getting back and identifying. This is the U.S. Air Arena, Landover, Maryland. First round action, fourth game of the night. North Carolina, Temple, and Boston College have all moved on to Sunday's action, and the winner of this one will join them. Craig Gumbel, Bill Raftery, Leslie Visser. And we're glad you've joined us. Ohio University has been raining threes down. That's what's happened so far today. The winner of this game will meet Temple. Ohio, 8 out of 15. Indiana, 4 out of 5. And the Hoosiers lead it by 1. It has been nothing less than entertaining so far. Well, they, uh, we mentioned the Shaq of the Mac is what they have dubbed him. And Gary Trent, one of those performers that can run a half-court set from different positions. And when you have those options with that talent, it puts a lot of stress on Henderson. They're going to have to give him some assistance on the dribble and also on the low box. And Allen Henderson has produced for Indiana. Six of nine from the floor, 13 points. And Ohio much better from behind the line than inside of it. Not much of a low post game other than Trent when you think of it. They got some looks early. Jason Turry had a couple of turnarounds, didn't make them. Bowles picked up the missed shot, but basically he's had that foul line jumper because Lindemann or whoever is in has been doubling up on Trent. Well, Post has been pretty much of a rumor here this evening, hasn't it? Well, I, it's, it's amazing, though, the similarity in the way they screen and cut and do not turn the basketball over two solid performers. There's Gary Trent. Where is number 20? 6'7", sophomore from Columbus, Ohio. Averages 25 and a half points, 11 and a half rebounds. And Evans with the match now gives Henderson a chance to rest and help out off of Bowles. Four for three. Doesn't fall for him. Loose ball picked off by oh, Indiana. What a job by Evans. Sore shoulder and all. Henderson, baseline jumper is there. 37-34, Indiana. We come up on three minutes to play for the half. Trent fighting for position down low. Bull tried to dish it off, and it's picked off. Evans, what a great job. Three-quartered and then fronty. From behind, out of bounds, belongs to Indiana. Let's go back down court. 
Well, I mentioned the ability to run the floor, the transition concerned. Ohio U and here the dish and the medium range jumper. But Evans countering on Trey has done a good job early on. Indiana by three. Great. Estes with the three quarter. This is Simmons up top. Bowl to the baseline. Now got to go back up top. Taken away by Hart. Estes guilty of the foul. We got Estes. Bowl in traffic. At a certain size, you should never put it down more than once and maybe twice. What size would that be? <laughs> well, anything over six, three, or four with some guys. Second personal on Chad Estes. Put a value on the ball. Some scores from around the country. Carolina beating Liberty in our first game here, and then BC by three over Washington State. Temple. Not too much trouble with Drexel. Trent with the rebound. 37 34. We're coming up on two minutes to play here in the first half. Simmons across the lane, drew the foul, and got the bucket. A great call because Trent needed a blow. They let Curtis take over the same box that Trent has been effective and had an impact. And he wasn't getting much of a look outside, and they do it in a single fashion, too. The roll at the end, more than adequate. Take a look at the Bobcats. They like that a lot. Curtis Simmons about to take the first free throw of the night for Ohio University. Simmons only a 36% free throw shooter. That's amazing. Mm. So much for that stat. He wants to run a hospital. The way they've been banging one of the around, they will have some patience. Tied at 37, under two minutes to play. Lindemann doing a lot of picking. As they help, he might get in position for a tip. Pretty pass. Henderson fouling at the bucket. Oh, what a shot by Allen Henderson. Well, one guy wants to run a hospital. Now we've got Dr. Henderson operating in the low post. He wants to be an orthopedic surgeon. The slip and the great look, and here's the little between floor linger, the kiss, Indiana's way. Gary Trent, second personal. He missed the extra, 39-37, Indiana. Coming up on a minute and a half to play. Trent, oh. inside. Oh. And he slid by Lindemann, who made a great reaction. That's talent, folks. 14 for Trent. We're tied at, four, at 39. Henderson. And Henderson just taking charge for the Hoosiers. He has 19 here in the first half. Now, this is the Henderson everybody expected throughout his career. And the injury hampered him last year. Henderson and Lindemann looking to help, not guarding their guys. That's tapped out of bounds by Indiana, and Ohio retains possession. Well, when he saw the open floor, and earlier he disdained its use, but this time the slide by, the smooch at the end. Excellent read. Jason Terry back onto the floor for Ohio University. They do a nice job for Trent within the motion. Use the pick and roll here. Terry. Didn't get it. Lindemann with the rebound and drew the foul. Terry over his back. Jason knocked it down. There's no foul. Mm. Can't beat the shot. And that's your job as a coach. And Larry's got them in prime position to deliver. But that motion creates openings and Trent more capable than others can take advantage with the dribble. 
Larry Hunter in his fifth season at Ohio University brings the Bobcats in here riding a 13-game winning streak. Now, when I coached, I lost to Ohio U, but you can say that about most clubs. And Coach Schneider was there, not feeling well, and hope he's coming along nicely. And we had a great deal of praise for him. Make sure you hit it, guys. Make sure now. One time. 36.1 showing on the game clock for the first half. Lindemann hits them both. 43-39, Indiana, and the full court pressure. And now they'll back off. I think I'd like Trent to get it if I'm Ohio U. Late. And again, if they collapse down, there's Geno Ford the outside three, yeah. for the three. Just a couple of tenths of a second different between the game clock and the shot clock. You want to shoot it early enough to get a tip in. Little pop, there's your call, the screen down. Ford. And that'll do it for the first half. Absolutely terrific first half of basketball in our last first round game here in Landover. Larry Hunter and Bob Knight take their teams off the court. Indiana 43, Ohio 39. The road to the Final Four continues on CBS in just a moment. A 43, Ohio 39. Greg Gumbel along with Bill Raftery. Leslie Visser is with us as well. You know, Bob Knight's got to be sitting there wondering at halftime, how am I ahead by four if I am shooting 68%? The answer is eight out of 16 three-pointers for Ohio, led by Gary Trent. Uh, Gary Trent is the answer, too. Bobby Knight's a defensive genius. He's got to figure how to stop him. You can see the three-point ability, uh, capability, two for three from deep for Gary Trent, 14 points, six for nine. All told, I mean, just solid basketball, and whether it's out or in, they've gotten him the basketball with plenty of distance and room to knock them down. Allen Henderson, on the other hand, has just lighted up for uh, Indiana. Solid. One of the best games I've seen him play. And another half to go. 43-39, Indiana with the basketball. Lindemann. Henderson. Continues. Oh. Uh, the screen down. Trent got lost. Tari unable to get back out on him. 45-39, Indiana. Atari got some earlier easy looks, same as that, doesn't get it to go. Trent in the lane, doesn't get the bounce, Henderson has the rebound. Major league snatch. To the baseline. Mm. Nice move, Brian Evans. Hen Henderson's got great legs tonight too, I mean he is elevating. 47-39, Hoosiers. And the sharp shooting Hoosiers taking a little in the air out of the Ohio balloon right now. Trent. And pretty good defense by Brian Evans. Good support down on the baseline for Henderson. Indiana shooting at a 70% clip. Good shots like this, and good shooters have a tendency to knock them down. That one wide open by Evans, generally. Estes, long bomb. That'll get him back on track. He's got that little lilt in his game, doesn't he? Confident. 12 points for Chad Estes, 47-42, Indiana. Oh, to get the discard by Trent, number three, if I'm not mistaken. That is three on Gary Trent. Ooh. Let's go over to Leslie Visser. Leslie. Greg, at halftime, Larry Hunter told his team that defensively they had to put more pressure on the Indiana shooters. Offensively, they have to establish an inside game so they can get to the line more than one time. He wrote on the blackboard, we belong, and he said we're going to prove it. Greg. Leslie, thank you. And you think of Pat Graham not being able to play that foot, undoubtedly a problem. Look at this quick look on the inbounds, and this is where he can do some damage. He can't get a break, Todd Lindemann. Good grab, strong back. It's just that his man yeah. in established position. So close and yet unable to get it all organized. 
And right here, sliding, anticipating beautifully, and the heady Estes stepping in, and Lindemann disarmed. 18 minutes to play. Two minutes gone here in the second half. Well, I'm beginning to keep Trent in there. You've got to get him the basketball. Take advantage. Look at this double, though. Reese into the lane. Fouled by Lindemann, I believe. It is Todd Lindemann. That's three on Lindemann. Now, Ron Felling last year spent the whole year working with Lindemann, and I think he's improved a great deal. The problem, and they do go to back. Graham, Bobby turns to him. And the problem is he just can't get it in sync. Another thing. Henderson with another loose ball with a baseball bat. And they turn it over. Good reaction defensively. Indiana did not need that. Four and open for three. And back come the Hoosiers. Henderson all the way across court. And on the baseline, Bailey doesn't get it, gets his rebound. No, tapped in by Lindemann. And Trent had to give ground wisely. He didn't want to get the foul. But that's where Todd can contribute. Clean up the little miss. Indiana by seven. Reese taken away by Bailey. Good anticipation by Damon Bailey on the run, followed by Estes. That was a pretty athletic move, wasn't it? I mean, to ward off Estes and still spin and have control. And that's three now on Estes. Everybody's watched this kid over the years. This has been a marvelous performance this year. The injuries late negated what otherwise was a solid number year. Shooting, guarding better, rebounding, nice step through. No, that won't count. That won't count, we'll go the other way. Number 33, Pat Graham into the lineup for Indiana. Here's another look. And Evan showed his speed to get up too. Good call by the officials. Trent, double team, foul by Graham. Graham is in the lineup with a sore left foot. He broke it prior to the 91-92 season, and then again last year in the preseason NIT. X-rays continue to show negative, but it continues to bother him. Once in a while, he'll look hobbled out there. Trent, tough shot. Henderson right there. This he can do. Graham. Oh. Oh. How about Bob Knight saved him, I think. You're only going to get a certain amount of minutes. I'm sure he figured, let's get to the second half and see what he can contribute. 52-42, Indiana with a 10-point lead and 16 minutes to play. Bowl still hasn't hit one of those. Graham. has done that much better this year, putting on the floor. 15-51 to play, Hoosiers by 10. Indiana leading at 52-42, shooting a blistering 62%, but why just a 10-point lead? Ohio's three-pointers. Uh, they sure have only one of two this half, though, so they stepped out on the deep shooters. Can't let Estes have those looks. Drive up and in. Oh, Chad Estes. Estes now with 14, 52-44. Evans all the way across court, tapped out of bounds by Simmons. The pressure Indiana puts on you with the three deep of the outside shooters. You throw in Bailey, then you got Evans on a wing, Graham and Larry, all good looking strokers. One of the reasons Henderson can get free. Graham. And Graham comes up limping, that's out of bounds to Ohio. by eight. 
Bowles going to try another one. Still hasn't hit from outside. Graham on the drive. Didn't fall for him. Bowles has the rebound. I noticed Gary Trent backed off and gave it. He thought he'd get the contact. Estes got it. Chad Estes, six foot senior out of Aurora, Ohio. Putting on a show, how huh? to three, the dribble to the goal. And that time the pull up. 16 points for Estes, six point Indiana lead. Henderson, first time he's touched the ball for a while, and he'll go to the line. Bowles upset, but that's partly because everybody's out identifying the outside shooter, the quick feet, and Henderson's become a much better low post player. Here, the good footwork, and Bowles trying to initiate the contact gets nailed for it. Bad nice. position. No, not bad. A little bit of an angle by Henderson, though. What a smooth stroke. Mm. 22 for Henderson. Hard, didn't get the bounce. 53 46. Now Bailey, sore hip and all, has got to tee it up right here. Good oh, on balance and out of bounds. Well, they all can't go your way, huh? Uh, Bailey's not going to stop guarding him. But he has been scintillating, Chad. Leary, top of the key for Bailey. The reason there's breakdowns against Indiana is they keep moving. Henderson, oh! How about the entry pass, Greg, right from the point? And again, Bowles can't play it any better than that. 55-46, Indiana by nine. Bowles again. It's just not there for Jeff Bowles tonight. Get to the box. I admire him until the coach takes him out. He's undeterred. Bowles is one out of seven, and that was a lay-in inside. Pretty Henderson good. hammered by Simmons, and a nice setup indeed by Damon Bailey. It sure was. Well, the good ones find the bailout. And Damon is one of the good ones. Wants the touch, doesn't get it, a little dismayed, and finally, Creates off the bounce and finds his partner, who's had a pretty good run of games lately, huh? Yeah. Jason Terry into the lineup. Jeff Bowles to the bench. Okay, nobody move now. Push you right here. Don't move it. Right. Henderson only 11 out of 14 from the field tonight, and 24 points make it 25. Six for Henderson, in case you're wondering, his season high, 41. 11-point lead for Indiana, coming up on 13 minutes to play in the game. The winner of this game meets Temple on Sunday. They really are ganging up on Trent Shady to assist when necessary. Look at all this attention. Tap no yeah, good, just out of bounds to Ohio. Well, they had a dance team at halftime, didn't get as much attention as Gary Trent. <laughs> they got more people on him. Trent, and Trevor. Forcing, pressing a little, maybe some fatigue setting in, but surrounded by a lot of bodies. Eight turnovers for the Bobcats, 13 for Indiana. Twelve and a half minutes to play here in the second half. Alan Henderson's turnaround, no good. Picked off now by Trent, and here comes Ohio. Trailing Indiana, 57 to 46. Simmons. And the shots are not falling now as they did in the first half for Ohio. I think that alley oop was for Simmons. 
listen to Bailey calling for the ball. Pretty basketball and help by Estes. Under 12 to play. Tough match for Bailey, but look at Henderson. He's got to make this. That's it. Duck in and a number of opportunities wasted by the big fella. Jason Terry at seven, two and a half, just a sophomore, his first basket of the night. Graham. Bailey. The hook. And Brian Evans long range. And Henderson with the loose ball. Evans again for three. That when he hurried. I think he was afraid of a charge, but he should have kicked it to Bailey. Estes for three. Online, but short. Didn't have vision. and it didn't fall for Todd Leary. This tells you how well Ohio U's playing. Indiana is sharp. They have not played, in my mind, recent games this solidly. A little bit in the Wisconsin game. Ohio calls timeout. Sponsored by Chevrolet, Budweiser, and by UPS. 10.39 to play in the game. Indiana 57, Ohio 48, and the Bobcats with the basketball. In the first half, Gary Trent 14 points on 6 of 9, shooting scoreless. Here in the second half, he's 0 for 4, as the Hoosier defense has identified the problem and clamped down. Oh, they sure have, and they're getting a lot of support. Uh, Evans particularly doing a sound job individually, and then everybody making sure Lindemann, Henderson, whoever is around, to help out. This time Graham, and they will not leave him. Estes with a better look at the basket and nails it for three. Bailey with a blow. 19 for Chad Estes. The competitive juices of Bailey were one of the reasons Estes had some problems with looks. And Wilkerson lost the handle. Trent on the move. Almost the prettiest oh, shot of the night. It sure was. Well, he has been saddled with a lot of bodies in this half, but that time, and, and if you recall the first half, he was doing more because he was away from the goal, Greg, in a position like this, taking advantage of the clear out in their motion. And how about him using the glass to assist? A little bit of a violation, you know. Lindemann will take a seat on the bench with four personal fouls and Henderson back into the lineup. Trent will shoot two. Ohio is one out of one from the line tonight. Indiana not giving them much chance at freebie. And there's Trent's first point in the second half. Traditionally, they take more free throws or make more than the opponent attempts. It's solid defense. Fifty-seven, fifty-three. Hoosiers lead four with ten minutes to play. And the Ohio fans getting back into the noise. Henderson's been getting free and low, but outside I think he can take Terry. Graham, oh nice move by Graham. With a little look outside to Henderson, gave himself just enough that, room inside. He froze everybody, but he's become so good with the dribble. Trent, of course. And tapped out of bounds as two Indiana players fought for the rebound. Leary and Wilkerson. Uh, Wilkerson's trying to contribute and got involved when he shouldn't have. And right here, you can see him coming over the top of Leary. Trent open for three. Knew it was off as soon as he let it go. Henderson. Henderson again. Monumental effort. 
And Trent on the other end, now he's bending over. He's a little bit fatigued, and even though he does make a three, and take, it's not his game. His game is in that medium range and bouncing to the goal. The one he has not been allowed to take in the second half. Taking it away from him. Geno Ford in to replace Gus Johnson for Ohio. Oh! Nelson. Henderson over Terry. Just a tough matchup. I mean, the big guy disarmed that far from the 10. 28 for Henderson. He has been a rock for the Hoosiers tonight. Look at Graves and zoning up. And now Henderson gets pinned because he's looking to help on Trent. I think they got Pat Graham. And Terry will go to the line. Gary Trent, you mentioned he was winded at the other end of the court, bent over and the giveaway is when a player is holding on to the bottom yeah, of his wanna, shorts. And, and the way the shorts are now, they end up at your ankles when you pull down on them. But you can see the difficulty with the numbers in the second half. And you can't afford to take him out. I mean, he's your major contributor. Although, let me ask you this. He has not been a major contributor here in the second half. He obviously needs a blow. Do you sit him for two minutes? Get him to rest a little bit on the offensive end. Take a little more time. Uh, you know, he's their main guy in NCAA. Losing by seven now. I know. Got rest all, tomorrow, got will you? all summer to rest, right? <laughs> well, you didn't rest in Lillehammer, I know that. <laughs> 61-54, Hoosiers lead. Eight and a half minutes to play in the game. So you're so used to baseball where they have the leaders. <laughs> Bench full of relievers over there. Oh, that, now there's a case where I just like the job that Estes did. Now, Bailey is smart, tough, strong. Everybody's talked about his post play in high school. And Chad, I felt got punished for a good job that trip. Fourth personal foul on Estes. Let's watch. Look at Bailey. See, he can't ward him out like that. And then the push. Well, a senior, established, with a reputation. And a good one. And, and he should be frustrated. That's a tough foul for him to take. Reese in the lineup for Ohio. And Bailey back with Reese looking to post up. Now he speeds away. Bailey. So many options with him. And he has to go out. He looks like he got hurt, Bailey. He's holding his side. He's pointed to the bench. And that's an offensive foul on Trent. And that's four on Gary Trent. And we have timeout on the floor. 7.57 to play in the game. Hoosiers 63, Bobcats 54. Just under eight minutes to play. Hoosiers with a nine-point lead, and they inbound the ball. Bailey, Leary, Graham, Henderson, Evans on the floor for Bob Knight. Henderson very active with Jason Turry trying to keep up with him. Bailey calling for the ball down low. Get out! Now backs out of there. Shot clock down to five. To two. Missed everything. It won't go the other way. I thought they passed up a couple of shots that trip earlier and ended up with a very difficult one, but you've got to attribute that to solid Bobcat defense. Jeff Bowles back in the lineup for Ohio. Bowles, Ford, Trent, Reese, and Simmons. This is Reese. High pick and roll, and Trent slides to the goal. Good job again by Evans. Simmons in the lane. He didn't get the bounce. Reese. A million and one fakes. Four for three. Around and out. Bowles followed. All right. And the house, as well as his own home, feels a lot better for him. 
four for Bowles, 63-56, Indiana. Did you notice Gino Ford with the nervous feet out there? He's catching in stroke, you can knock it down. Bailey, oh, what a shot by Damon Bailey. Trent in transition. And they were going down earlier. Good balance and good pulling of the string by Todd Larry. The last time they ran the shot clock down, they ended up with a tough shot. They've got to take some time, and when a good one shows, take it. Because Ohio U has to think a rebound if there's a miss. Henderson. And Bailey tough underneath it. What would you say? 6 2, 6 3, give him. Big ticker. Incredible strength. Broad shoulders. Somewhat of a mismatch as Reese tries to contain, but even amongst the large guys, the power to propel upward. Bailey has nine. 11 point lead for Indiana. And Estes back in the game with Bailey. I mean, these two, Bailey ends up holding them. But these two trying to show one another their game. Bailey's second person. Still more action coming your way after this one winds down. We still have 540 to play in this one. That shot, no good. Rebound, loose ball now, picked off by Leary. Oh, Henderson. look at the step through. And fired twice. All right, Doctor. Pretty good house call that time. Just nobody there to contest it. Simmons. We'll go to the line. This is good work by Allen Henderson, but there's just no one bothering him underneath. You know what the problem has been? They've been able to get the ball in there whenever they want. Now, they play real solid defense, but in the post, they've been soft. The second and third effort is something that's within that shirt, but the ease of the delivery causes the problem for Ohio U. Great numbers for him. Sixty-nine, fifty-seven, and Simmons looks to close to within eleven. And does trying to extend the floor. A little zone look at this juncture. Back to the man to man. They're switching outside. Nice pass. Didn't come up with it. Not one to one at that time, though. And Bailey picks it off, and a nice play by Bailey. Graham down the lane. That'll be an offensive foul. Well, the pass by Evans is one at this juncture of the game. You don't want to gamble. And then down the other end, Ohio, you wasted the trip. <laughs> He's saying, Pat, why? And Bowles, who has struggled on the offensive end, continues to impress and contribute with a nice step in. They had been so patient. <laughs> and then Pat Graham mm -hmm. drives the lane in a hurry. 18 Indiana turnovers to 10 for Ohio. Uh, just trying to go and do too much. Henderson does exactly what his coach wants this time of the game. Not bad for a point guard, much less a guy up front like Henderson. Under 4.15 to play for the game. Evan, off the back of the rim. The Allen is really tired. I mean, he is blowing air out of the top of the key. Just a relentless performance, and he is the happiest guy. Look at him walking off at the hands on his hips. Gino Ford calls time for Ohio. We'll be back. Four minutes to play in the game. Indiana with the lead. Right here, Pat. 
Bowles, three-pointer. Trent, big rebound, went out, lost it. Four, down the lane. Trent. Oh, it hasn't been easy for him. Strong there. And Evans has been terrific defensively, though. Bobcats get it back to single digits. Trent, his first field goal here in the second half. Now, you don't want to foul, and you want to rebound. Be solid on this trip. Challenge the shot. You're down under 15. Shot clock now at 9. Bailey! Gamer. What a gamer. He sure is. Won't you come home, Damon Bailey? And he gets the giveaway, and not one Indiana needed. Let's watch Gary Trent on the offensive board. Yeah, Ford gets it up, and for this particular trip, he just worked to get himself. Bailey had taken him, or Evans had taken him out of the passing lane. Here's Gary Trent's story. Tale of two games. And part of it, the picture of him bent over. I think fatigue generated those numbers, as well as a cast of white shirts wearing them like carnations, the white. Meanwhile, Chad Estes with 20 points. Run, run, Next tap, out of bounds, saved by Evans. Under three minutes to play. And that'll be a foul on Gino Ford. Now, if you play basketball, you say, well, why should Gary Trent be tired? You know, you go down, you play some offense, but it's also running after Indiana, the quick cuts, the bumps, the assisting others, sprinting to recover. All of those things on, guys. tell on you as the game progresses. Plus, you get banged on a pick. Getting leaned on will do it every time. Mm -hmm. Todd Leary. Seven points on the night. And Trent with the board. 73-61. Bobcats need 12 to make up. Eskis in among the trees and got stuck. the bucket and the foul. Good look inside from Trent. I thought he should have been in there earlier in the game to contribute. Let Trent move out there and do some damage and let Bowles get some offensive position. I mean, they're looking and you know, to throw and help out. And where life is a little easier, where oh. you don't get quite so tired. But the people don't count the shots when you're down tight. Thank you. Johnson in, Simmons out. Another long-range shooter onto the floor for Larry Hunter. Bowles with seven on the night. 73-64, just under two and a half to play. Hanging pretty good, though. A mistake by Indiana. Ohio is right back there. No time unless a good one shows. That's what Indiana's thinking. Maybe deny some pass, disrupt a little if you're OU. Oh, you. Pretty, pretty. You know, it was a major reason for Indiana's second half, Pat Graham. Yeah. I mean, now you got another guy to worry about with the three, the dribbling, and also the death passing. Great job by Evans. Bailey. Gee, did Larry set that up? Bill, you said during a timeout, this is the best Indiana has looked in how long to I, you? A, a couple of months. I saw them up in Iowa, and I thought they had a chance. And then as the year progressed, the injuries drained, and they struggled. Ohio State up there. Ohio State played a great game, but Indiana off their form. Looked a little better against Wisconsin, and a few days off, healthier, maybe in a better frame of mind. Chalk up another three for Chad Estes. It's a 10-point difference. 23 for Chad Estes tonight. He has quietly put together a heck of a game, and not so quietly at times. Uh, and, and he's had to play David Bailey. Here's the switch back out to Pat Graham on the exchange. Oh, 
Ford cuts off Leary. Bailey out of the corner. And Trent with the ball. For three. And the foul is on Bowles. That's four on Bowles. Alan Henderson has been the man for the Hoosiers. In the first half, it was Gary Trent, but you see the numbers that have fallen off in the second half for the Ohio sharpshooter. And Indiana with a 53% shooting night. Coach will take that anytime. Sure, and it's their motion offense and their ability to give up, to distribute to one another. Make the open shots. I mean, you make open shots, you can move forward in a season. Damon Bailey has taken a seat on the bench with 14 points and six rebounds, four assists. Did he show you a little something? You bet. Never. And obviously in pain from those pulled muscles on his right side. Never bet against that kid. Meanwhile, Henderson, 34 points. As we wind our way down, whistle blows, and Ohio will go to the line. And Larry, about night up, you don't want to stop the clock. A little hand check all the way. And part of that may be a little tiredness on his part as well. Chad Estes walking off the court. 23 points. College basketball is all about guys like that. Just a magnificent show of ability and perseverance as well. Chad Estes, a senior, rounding out his collegiate career, which started as a walk-up. Mm -hmm. He must have some intramural team right now, huh? <laughs> Imagine the fight to recruit him. Mm. 79-68. A little giveaway to stop the clock. Oh, we, we buried Chad Estes' collegiate career a little too soon. He's, he's back on the court. Well, a little blow, get another three. Curtis Simmons was doing what the coach said. What we interpreted as a graceful bow out was just a little bit of a blow. You may get two or three more in 44 seconds. Graham. Bob Knight now in the position that he wanted all day long. Yeah, resting on that bench. I mentioned to him, uh, you know, get a bar stool. I know uh, you're not Irish and you won't be familiar with it, but he said it would have been bad for his back, so he got permission to rest up there. That's the first time all game. Eighty-one, sixty-eight, 68, Indiana. And there's a foul on Graham. Well, Indiana is about to move on to Sunday's action where they will meet the Owls of Temple, seed five against seed four. Carolina against Boston College. First game tip 12-15. And Allen Henderson off the floor. Gets a pat on the back from his coach and the glad hands from his teammates. 34 points, 14 of 21 from the floor tonight. And 13 rebounds. And Rod Felly telling him what he did wrong, huh? <laughs> Well, he's got to be proud of him, as the rest of the coaches are. One of those nights where the intensity level in the first half, you had a match. I thought Ohio U came well prepared, well versed in what they had to do. And if you didn't counter with the hearts of Henderson and Bailey and others, they could have walked out of here with a loss. Look ahead to Indiana Temple Forest, Bill. Well, the zone is the problem. And, uh, you know, Bob Knight, a guy that has the outside shooters that John Chaney has to be concerned with, but the key is can you get it into the three second lane at times and kick it outside? It's strictly how you cope with the zone. It also eliminates the help the way they go one-on-one. -on -one. You've got a long way to go against Temple to assist. You may see a little nuance here and there where they help from the post people. Evans with a three to put the cap on it for the Hoosiers. Floyd, 
gets his name in the books as time runs down and the Hoosiers move on. Gary Trent of Ohio, Alan Henderson of Indiana, our Chevrolet players of the game, Indiana 84, Ohio 72. More after this word from your local station. This is Ohio. Leslie on the floor with a couple of big time players. Leslie. Greg, there are a couple of happy Hoosiers here, although they are banged up. Damon Bailey, congratulations to you. And what's wrong with your abdomen there? Uh, it's just the pulled muscle I've had for a couple of weeks, and uh, you know I kind of re-injured it again tonight. But you know, hopefully, I'll be ready to play. Uh, you know, against Temple, and we'll do everything we can. We well, had 14 points tonight. How were you able to dominate? Well, you know, Allen did a great job inside tonight. You know, they had a, a very good player in Gary Trent, and you know, we feel that the best way to attack a good player is to go right at him. You know, we felt that Allen could. Uh, hold his own with him inside, and we just got the ball inside down tonight, and, and he did a marvelous job. He's right. You were a pleasure to watch, Alan. How were you able to work inside? Well, with the team moving the ball well, and everybody was cutting and screening together, uh, it really opened some things up for me. I got some wide open shots because of it, and you know, when, when the team was working really well, uh, I found I can get some open shots. What about defensively? Gary Trent had only one field goal in the second half. Right. I, I think that Brian Evans gets the most credit for that. Uh, he really took him most of the game by himself. He took it on as a personal challenge. And, uh, you know, he had a, uh, about, what, seven points under his average, I think. And, uh, you know, I'm really proud of the way Brian played defense. Well, congratulations to you both. You can go home and memorize the matchup zone. Right. Back to you. All right, Leslie, once again, Indiana moves on to face the Temple Owls with an 84-72 win. That'll be one of our two games here in Landover on Sunday. Fifth seed Indiana, fourth seed Temple, top seed North Carolina against number nine seed Eagles of Boston College. Our Chevrolet players of the game, Gary Trent of Ohio University and Alan Henderson. You can't get a much bigger job out of a ball player than Henderson produced tonight. For Bill Raftery and Les...